9 days ago I make a cell which uses this dual electrolyte setup and these two electrolytes are separated by some agar based membrane. And now like I already say 9 days ago I make a cell which uses this dual electrolyte setup and the acid and the alkaline electrolyte was separated by some agar based membrane. So this kind of agar based membrane you can make at home really easily. Uh, if you want to know how to make this agar membrane then the link to this video will be in the video description. Uh, but now let's see if that cell which uh, which uses this agar membrane for separating the alkaline and the acid based electrolyte still work after 9 days. And over here is this cell after 9 days. So this cell uses these two electrolytes with different pH. This one is the acid side and this one is the alkaline side and these two electrolytes are separated by this agar uh, membrane. So here I use some agar gel which was impregnated into some uh, bamboo fibers. So I use some bamboo fibers because uh, this way if I impregnate uh, some bamboo fibers with uh, the agar gel, uh, the agar gel, I mean the agar membrane will not crack on the open air. Uh, so how I make uh, this membrane, uh, the link to this video will be also in the video description. So uh, what happens in these 9 days uh, is in the beginning on the negative side here where is located this alkaline electrolyte, uh, the electrolyte turn into brownish color but after 2 days uh, the electrolyte turn into this color like I have over here right now. But the positive side where is located the acid electrolyte, uh, I don't get any change. So the agar based membrane will work really really great in some acid uh, environment. So if you use some mild acid or neutral electrolyte with the agar membrane then everything will be really really fun. And because this cell is some open cell and for this reason I get some water evaporation, for this reason I keep adding some fresh uh, electrolytes. So on the negative side I keep adding some fresh, uh, fresh uh, electrolyte of one mole of sodium hydroxide and on the positive side I keep adding some fresh two mole of sucuric acid. And actually that's it. So after 9 days I don't get any electrolyte crossover. Uh, and now I also want to know what will be uh, the voltage of this cell. Really nice. So after 9 days I still get the voltage of 2.34 volts. Uh, I also can test the current of the cell. Uh, so this cell with 1 mole of uh, sodium hydroxide uh, have a little bit slower current like uh, that cell which uses 2 mole of uh, potassium hydroxide electrolyte on the negative side. Three hundred is also not so bad.
Really nice. Here in the middle, uh, the membrane was exposed to the air, and you can also see some crystal forming. And yeah, the membrane is also really hard here on the top. So if I don't use this uh, bamboo fiber uh, to make this entire membrane more stronger uh, then uh, the agar membrane will definitely uh, crack like last time but right now everything is fine so for now that's it about this agar membrane uh, and yeah we see us in the next video bye